Epic Games, what's going on? I just spent so much time defending you on the item shop, the movement, the entirety of Chapter 5. I've been sitting here and defending pretty much everything that Epic Games has done besides the locker, okay? But now, they have vaulted the main mechanics of Season 2, what made the Greek Season fun we're gonna talk about that in just a second before we do though i do want to say hello everybody and welcome back to another video if you are new here my name is kyle i'm your guy with many youtube channels we're gonna talk about that one more second because i need to apologize for my gates of heaven over here i just want my dog for something to look at have something to look at excuse me but anyways oh my god so if you guys you guys probably know because i'm uh, about a day late to this conversation epic games started the avatar collaboration which is awesome by the way i think the mythics are cool i haven't played them personally but i haven't i have been watching videos and streams on them i think the mythics are pretty cool some of them say they suck but i don't care about that it's avatar i like avatar i'll have fun using it and i know toff's bending mythic was vaulted but hopefully that's just for the time being anyways epic games added all of that and they decided to remove the Greek items. The Hades Chain, Zeus's Thunderbolt, and Icarus's Wings. This is insane to me, okay? I understand that you don't want the loophole to be too cluttered with weapons like this, but this was the main theme of Season 2. It was Greek mythology. We have one season to enjoy these. The Wings are awesome, the Lightning Bolt's awesome, and the Chains of Hades are awesome. You know what? If Epic Games were to just vault the Lightning Bolts, I would understand it, okay? I would get it. I'd be like, okay, I maybe the Zeus Lightning Bolt was a little much with all of these mythics because everybody's whining about the Lightning Bolt, but I still ultimately disagree with it. I still am sitting here and thinking, like, the same thing that I've been thinking since Arena first came out. Separate the loot pool between competitive and casual. Have all of the mythics, all of the collab weapons inside of pubs, and if people don't want to play it, they can go over to competitive. I see nothing wrong with that, but... Here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem. I get the reasoning behind it. I do. Because I blame the Fortnite community for this. First of all, the reason that Epic Games probably did this is so they could avoid all of you guys whining, moaning, and, gr and just screaming about, Oh my god, Epic Games, I can't believe the lightning bolt and the wings are in here with these new avatar mythics. Are you trying to kill your game, Epic Games? This is ridiculous. Like, you already know that they would have heard this from half of the community. You would already have known that this would have been a conversation, but because people just love to hate on Epic Games, love to just point their anger towards something that they're doing for it, and we know that they're just miserable people online, and no matter what, they're going to hate on the decision Epic Games made, because, again, if they were to have everything in there, you know these same people complaining, for the most part, we have some amazing people over here on this channel, we know there are rational people in the Fortnite community, but for the most part, you already know Epic Games would be hearing this. Oh my god, Epic Games, this is too much, what is this, collab night, and there's, and you know what, I'll talk about that too, because I've always been of the opinion that collabs have not ruined Fortnite, they've not gotten in the way, Fortnite's still Fortnite, it feels the same to me, and while that still does seem true to me, like, I'm still playing the game, I'm still building, I'm still using my pump shotgun, it still feels like Fortnite to me. This, in my opinion, is, as far as I can remember, the only time that I actually think that collabs is overstepping their welcome. Because now we have this amazing Greek mythology season, a theme that everybody wanted for so long. I've wanted this season forever, and so many people I know, even in this community here, have wanted this season. Now it's vaulted because of a collab. This is when collabs taking it a step too far, in my opinion. I love Avatar, I love the mythics, I think they're super cool. I think the battle pass is awesome, I love everything about Avatar The Last Airbender. But to vault all of the Greek mythology stuff, that which wasn't even overpowered, by the way. I under, like Again, the only one that I can kind of understand is the Lightning Bolt. I still disagree with it, but I, like it's at the end of the day, it's vaulted, right? And before you comment down below, I know they're only vaulted for a month, but that's a big month. And people are even speculating that by the time this month is over, they're going to keep them vaulted because they're going to bring Star Wars stuff back in. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'd kind of be okay with that because of just how fun the Star Wars mythics are, but it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right at all. I don't understand why Epic Games is vaulting the core mechanics of their game. Maybe, I don't know if they have any stats about it, like maybe people weren't using them as much as they intended. I don't know, maybe they were trying to avoid the backlash that they definitely would have gotten. I don't want to hear it in the comments. They would have received that backlash 1000% that there are too many mythics in the game, but this isn't better this isn't better. They need to keep everything in the game. I, I would understand if you wanted to vault anything else in the loot pool, but not the stuff that makes the Greek mythology season feel like I'm playing a Greek mythology season. Now we're just left with the POIs, and we're still left with some cool mechanics. We're still left with some cool bosses. Like, But at the end of the day, 
I really, really don't like this change personally. The Avatar Mythics are awesome, but it's coming at a cost that I'm not here for. And I always say, like, I always say this, guys. If I have a problem with something that Epic Games is doing, then it's an issue because I've supported them throughout pretty much the entirety of Chapter 5. What have I hated on them for? I think I've hated the locker changes and the hit scan weapons. That's pretty much it. I I've defended them at every single point, I believe. Please, like, I'm sure there's something else. But the point being, I'm not part of this entire outrage culture. I was over here defending them against movement because I didn't see an issue with that personally, but that's besides the point. Guys, you even have Cyan hating on the game right now. He said that he's too sad to play, which is crazy to me, but anyways, let me know what you think about this down below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the video on screen right now. I will see you either there or in the next one. Take care.